Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So for today, I just want to hang out, eat a snack, drink some Dr. Pepper, chit chat about all the new makeup releases that I'm interested in. Yes, I want a few of them, but like there's so much new makeup, but like so little money. I can't <laughs> spend all my money and get all the makeup. So if you just want to hang out, talk about some eyeshadow palettes, things like that, then please stick around for today's video and make sure you are subscribed because typically I am buying so many new palettes and reviewing them, but I actually wanted to go on a no buy for at least two weeks possibly more we'll see by the end of September like there's no way we'll get into it so first I wanted to talk about the palette that launched today and this is from a Bella Beauté bar this is the I want to make sure I pronounce the name right this is a recently de-influenced palette first of all the packaging Second of all, the multi-chromes. Those swatches look so, so beautiful. And I was, honestly, I was like, yeah, I'm buying it, like, without a doubt. And then I was like, Brittany, I think I bought, I'm pretty sure I bought six Bella Beauté Bar palettes within just a few weeks to a few months. So I'm like, you gotta stop. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, it's beautiful, but I feel like I need to pump the brakes just a tad. Um, is it worth it for the packaging? I feel like I'm in love with the packaging, and like the theming as much as the color story so it's like I have to stop myself and like girl are you buying it for the packaging and the theming or the color story because it's like yes I love those beautiful shifty shades but the matte shades do I necessarily need them no the packaging I don't need it but like I do so anyways I've come to the conclusion I'm gonna pass for now but it's so so pretty please let me know if you're gonna get it I know so many of y'all have asked me like are you getting it because y'all picked it up so jealous can't wait to see all your beautiful looks so the next thing that I wanted to talk about let's see okay for sure for sure I am buying the new ghost face collection from a glam light like I don't even know what it's gonna look like but I want it and this is going to be launching uh, I think it's September 29th so we're only a few days away man I just I, there's I, I'm so excited I love scream I do not love scary movies like if there's a scary commercial like I'm turning it as fast as I can but for some reason scream I don't want to say like it's my childhood because that sounds terrible but like that was the one scary movie that I loved watching I do have the new Chucky palette ow my elbow I never watched it because it was terrifying but I did pick this one up recently and it's so nice I can't wait to just layer my multi crumbs on top but Am I like a horror girl? No, <laughs> but I want the Scream collection. And I think it's going to be awesome. So um, let me know because I know so many people are really hyped up for that one. Also, I want to talk about another launch that is happening the day that I'm filming this. Um, this is the collaboration with Angelica Nikovis and Odin's Eye Cosmetics. So they are launching two palettes in a lip collection. I think there are five lippies and two palettes. The Little Ghost palette and Trick or Treat. Honestly, um, the main reason why I'm not picking this one up is because the color stories don't really... It's not something that I would use all the time. Um, so I'm just going to like keep loving on my OG the Hella palette so I think Halloween's like a cute concept but there's no need like the collector in me was like yes buy it but then I'm like what no <laughs> if you're not gonna use the color stories don't get it like I can still just love on the original you know what I mean I think it's so beautiful doesn't mean I have to get all of them I can love y'all's looks but keep my money at the same time so definitely let me know um which palette did you like the best? If I had to pick one, I would get the Trick or Treat palette. But this is kind of like the recently de-influenced palette. It's like I love the packaging so much. I almost like took that leap of faith and bought it. And I'm like, why would I do that? <laughs> like I don't need to buy it because I like the packaging. Sorry, I look ratchet today. We're just hanging out and eating junk food. Like I'm not I have a bowl of pretzels. Like don't judge me. What is your favorite snack? Please leave it down below your favorite snack because I'm a snack girly, so definitely I need to know all the good snacks. Okay, so next I want to talk about, oh, Pat McGrath, her holiday collection. <sighs> it's a mouthful, guys. So this is a huge, huge collection. I'm just going to like go over it very quickly. The mascaras, they're releasing colored mascaras. Do you think I'll wear those? No. Um, the two larger Mothership palettes. Um, no, thank you. Um, I do wish that we would have seen, like, the larger 18 pan versus the 9 pan with the two blushes. I'm just not someone who 
would like the blushes with the eyeshadows but I do understand that for holiday a lot of time people are buying gifts and a lot of people want that value with the eyes and the blushes like the versatility so not for me um but if y'all love it I love that for you now the quince so those like one two three the five pans um no thank you again but the blue one is unique but I don't wear blue so I don't need it just because I'm excited about it so definitely going to be skipping the four small palettes now the face palettes I do not own her bronzer so the lightest one I was gonna get that but then I'm like $52 let's think about this I can just get an individual bronzer for $39 and that's without a sell so it's like do I need that that is the only thing that I'm considering um, buying is a face palette because I want to try the bronzers and I love her highlighters and her blushes are beautiful and the particular one that I like I do not own a repeat shade so I just wish that like for holiday collections we would stop even from hourglass stop doing shades that already exist like let's mix it up especially for collectors I know a lot of y'all collect you can't really like collect because you're buying lots of repeats so I would just love to see new blushes, highlighters, things like that. So make sure before you buy a face palette, check and make sure you're not buying repeats. Because I do own some of those that are actually in there. So next, let's move on to, um, let's mix it up a bit. Well, no, okay, I'll save the perfumes for last because perfumes make me so happy. But I know you're probably here for the makeup. Next, I'm going to, okay, this one ultimately I was like oh yes I'm buying it this is the new NARS blush palette for the holiday season that white packaging literally blew me away and I know you're like Brittany like you don't need it I know so I was going to buy it and I was like you know what why don't I just love on my NARS palette that I already own now is there a possibility you will see this in like favorites video if it's on sale in the future maybe <laughs> but for $60 um, I have so many blushes I'm going to try to hold off but there's just something about a good blush palette that gets me so excited and I do like that there's no highlighters it's just all blushes you can mix them and just oh they just look lovely I like the light pink I like that there's peachy red browns neutrals <sighs> is it the same as all the other years probably but I still kind of want it because that packaging, it's like, stop. They get us with the packaging. It's so pretty. Okay, next, let's talk about a product that I'm considering buying. And this is from Rare Beauty. This is the Blush and Glow set. So there are two blushes and two highlighters. Believe it or not, I'm the only person on this earth, I'm just kidding, that has not tried Rare Beauty blushes. And at this point, I was like, I'm never going to buy them just so I can be like, I've never tried it. But... I low key want it high key actually so this is a set I think it's 32 or 34 dollars let me see 34 dollars I want it but I, I don't need it but let me know do I need to try it? am I missing out on this iconic formulation everyone raves about it I love Selena so this is a product that I might tiptoe and get just like Ah, impulse Sephora order just because I love minis and I really want to try it so and I like the selection that they actually picked I think that the shade that soft soft pinch um what is it virtue I think I can barely see it in wisdom I think those are beautiful blush shades so I might get that one and now let's talk about one that is taking everything I have okay so this is literally the Inslee rain cosmetics this is the what are you harvest moon palette so this is like the remastered updated version of their previous harvest moon palette <sighs> again the packaging I feel like I need this one I love the color story at first I thought the mattes were so grungy and dark but as we saw swatches and different pictures of the palettes I was like you know what they're they're actually different and I kind of want it um I think it's a beautiful palette full of multi-chromes and gorgeous matte I've never tried the brand because this is like a whopping $88 and then you have shipping you can use discount codes um I'll put some of my friends discount codes down below in case you want to support a small creator but this is one this and the ghost face that I'm like this is probably what I've been saving up for. Um, let me know. I just have so many friends that have tried Inslee Rain Cosmetics and they're like, this is one of my favorite formulations and they have since collected all of their palettes. So 
not all of them, but most of them. So this is one out of all of them, other than Ghostface, that I'm, I want it. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I'm probably going to get that one. But I think that that and Ghostface and the Rare Beauty is everything that I'm looking at so far. I did get sent um, some pictures of the new Huda Beauty palette and the new Natasha Denona palette. I can't obviously show pictures because they haven't launched, but I'm going to be skipping both of those as well. All I'm going to say is that they're cool tone, and I don't think I'm going to need them. Now, let's talk about the perfumes. Okay, it's been some time since the last clip. Um, I had a kiddo wake up, I think. She's asleep. Probably. We'll see. Probably not. Anyway, so next I want to dive into a few perfumes, and then we'll hop over back to makeup. Okay, so... These are four new perfumes from Kayali. Oh my goodness, guys. These look so beautiful. I, I love perfumes so much. I honestly, I'm into perfumes just as much, if not more, than makeup because I don't always wear makeup, but I'm almost always wearing perfume. So it's just something that really makes me happy. They are coming out with four different fragrances, and I think the bottles are so beautiful. I heard that these are not going to be available inside Sephora to, to give a sniff. I hope that's not true. But the first one is, this whole collection is Oud Gasm inspired. So all four of these have the, the scent Oud in it, just mixed. So the first one is, I believe, uh, Vanilla Oud. And the second one is Rose. And then we have Tobacco. And the fourth one is the Cafe, which is supposed to be like more of like a coffee Oud. I don't know. Everything just looks and just sounds so lovely and wonderful. I hope that I'm able to get at least like a sample. I'm too scared to blindly buy these because the oud could be hit and miss for me. So I'm not sure if I would love them, but I still want to smell it, guys. Like, what are your what are your thoughts on it? And they're also launching these amazing like the woods that you can burn with it, like super luxe. Uh, oh, 119 dollars. Okay very luxurious and like rare so that's nice i love that for you if you're getting it please let me know down below if you could only get one which one would you pick i don't know if i could pick just one i feel like i could go safe with like vanilla but i kind of want to do like the tobacco because i love tobacco leather things like that so i feel like i would go bold and try to pick that one um because rose it's like i don't know if i'm i don't really gravitate towards rose scents but like the coffee I think without a doubt I would love that one. So those are four fragrances that I just, I'm so excited about and I want to sniff them. I may not like them, but I still want to know what these smell like. It's driving me crazy. And then the next fragrance I want to talk about that I'm like really highly, highly <laughs> considering getting, this one is from a replica. This is the Under the Stars perfume and the memory is, um, let's see. Oh, it's the description is Oud and Leather. Maybe I'll just get that one then you know save my money and buy all those for anyways I just want to smell this so bad so as soon as Sephora has this I'm going to smell it and see what it's about but there's so many different keynotes in this we've got um leather and cedar wood um black let's see I think that meant to say pepper I don't know cinnamon there's all different kinds I'm just like intrigued by this I love replica scents not all of them so this is one where I just want to smell it. I think that, yeah, Jazz Club is my favorite fall fragrance. So I'm curious to see how these would, like, pair on one another if I was to layer them on. So now we're going to jump back to makeup, but I would love to hear some fragrances that you are eyeing, that you have smelled, and you're just, like, holding it on a cell. For sure, one that I, like, really want to get, it's from Gucci. It's the Magnolia one. Mm, it smells so amazing, and it lasted on me all day so that's one that I really want that one <laughs> okay so I literally while my, I was putting my daughter back to sleep for her nap I was looking on Instagram and oh my goodness Salem Cosmetics is they're going to come out with a palette and the name of it is grunge life and the packaging it's so beautiful sorry if I got to show you this one but I tried this palette from Salem this is the forest heart palette in collaboration with sneak and I was blown away by their formulation so I don't know what the color story looks like but I'm definitely considering this palette as long as I like the color story because I love the brand and I would love to own more from them um, real quick the ABH highlighter 
Um, I have the OG Amarinzi. I know everyone was kind of like comparing these two. This one looks a little bit darker, but I'm kind of out of the stage where I want to spend that much money on a highlighter because I have so many. So I'm probably going to pass on it, but this is going to be something where like if I was in store and I swatched it and it was perfect, I might get it. But this isn't something that I'm going to run out and try to buy. Um, not really my vibe. I love my hourglass highlighters. That's typically what I reach for on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm looking, and I think that is everything that I wanted to highlight. There's just so much going on. But real quick, one last thing. The um, Let me know if you've tried Lottie London. I've never tried that brand before. I've seen them at Walmart. But they did a Vampire Diaries collaboration. Y'all. I love me some Vampire Diaries. I've watched the series too many times that I'm willing to admit to you. Um, let me know, are you Team Damon or Team Stefan? If you're Team Stefan, bye. <laughs> just kidding, guys. I'm just playing. Um, I, I have no idea if my Walmart or CVS or wherever I can buy this brand. But if I walk in there and I see the eyeshadow palette, I'm buying it. I don't care if the quality's bad. I'm going to buy it. Just up front and roll with y'all. But I probably won't be able to find that in source. But I did want to end that. Let's see. Yeah, with that one. Because that's one where I'm like, I kind of want to get it. There's like a gnat in here. Go away. But anyways, guys, please let me know down below some makeup that you are interested in right now. The ghost face. And the uh, Harvest Moon palette, I'm like, gimme, gimme. <sighs> but I don't know. Everything else, I just need to chill and like go on. A low buy, no buy. I'm proud I haven't bought makeup in a week. And I'm like, uh, itching, but I gotta stop. Like, no. It is so hard for me not to buy the Bella Beauty Bar palette. I'm like, stay strong. That's what I keep telling myself. Stay strong, you don't have to have it. <sighs> so we'll see. Please let me know what palettes are you buying? What there's so many different foundations. There's so much makeup. But I just wanted to highlight like the top 10-ish, probably like 15 products that really caught my eye and I had to talk myself out of. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye guys. I just love the fact that I have had mascara under my eyes this entire video. I love that for me. I love that for me.